Skills pay the bills, but visibility gets you the opportunity. Hey everybody, welcome to Biotechnica. Once again, we are here with something amazing for all of you. Well, today we are going to talk about bioinformatics, how to start from scratch to build a very high quality career in bioinformatics. The problem which we are facing as of today is a talent crunch. Every lab wants a bioinformatician, but they can't afford one separate bioinformatician. Rather, if bioinformatics is an additional skill to you, they will hire you faster if you have a molecular biology hands-on experience as well. Most of you, I believe, already have wet lab experience or somewhere you have worked or some kind of training you have taken. Where things go wrong is bioinformatics. If you don't have it, well, skills will not pay the bills anymore. It's the visibility. If people know that you know this, that's how the opportunities will come to you. And well, the best place to find all those opportunities is Biotechnica. So we'll come to that a little later. So let's start with what is bioinformatics really? Well, it is a combination of computers, statistics, maths, and biology, right? Biology part, you know well. Maths part, you've studied a bit. Computer science, of course, you need to learn, right? Now it involves managing, analyzing, interpreting biological data, and using computational tools. Now, what are the areas in which you can apply all of this? Genomics, proteomics, drug discovery, systems biology, precision medicine, AI in healthcare. Well, if you spend three to five days exploring all of this with Biotechnica, you will realize that all you have to do is do an add-on course on the top of whatever bachelor's you have done or master's you've done. You don't need to go and do a BSc Bioinformatics or MSc Bioinformatics. It's not required. It's like, did you do a degree in computer science to design a PowerPoint? I don't think so, right? So this is a skill. So you need to learn that first. That's one. The second thing is, you need to believe in the power of combination. Okay? What is the power of combination? No lab has additional extra funding to afford additional extra bioinformatics unless it's a big company. Right? So instead, if you have a molecular biology wet lab skill, combine that with bioinformatics, your chances of getting strong advantage over others is high. Now, this helps you get hired faster. Now, if you are purely focusing on dry lab, it can be a disadvantage, but never mind. If you want to excel in the world of coding, data analysis, pipelines, algorithms, AI, then yes, you are on the right path. So both paths are good, but yes, you need to learn. That's the first. The second one is programming languages. So you have to learn the programming languages, Python, R, basics of bash and shell scripting. Of course, you have to build a pro portfolio. Now the key platforms which you need to learn is Blast, NCBI, Ensemble, Uniprot, BioPython, Bioconductor, Pandas, NumPy, Linux, Command Line, GitHub, and all of that. You're, you should be familiar with Google Cloud, AWS and Azure. These are the three from three different tech companies. And you have to understand databases, how they're handled, how they're managed. So SQL and no SQL you have to learn. Now, next one will be be smart, get certified. Biotechnica runs a monthly as well as annually and biannual programs on bioinformatics as well as artificial intelligence. And you can enroll yourself and learn bioinformatics as well as AI ML. So if you enroll in the bioinformatics skill development programs with Biotechnica, you get hands-on project also. Choose this program because it has got real-world experience of data sets and industry-oriented projects. This will help you avoid purely academic and theoretical uh, you know, courses. Instead, you'll be able to get certified. And of course, you'll get work experience letter because this is an internship. Now, moving forward, you will have to build a project portfolio. You have to learn sequence alignment, gene expression analysis, variant calling pipeline, and document every project which you do on GitHub. Always write blog posts on medium.com explaining your projects and show your communication skill set also. Because hiring managers love candidates who can explain what they did. And also you should document this on LinkedIn as well, right? Now coming to the next part, show your updated CV everywhere. Network and showcase yourself. Attend conferences, meet people, follow journals such as Bioinformatics, Nature Genetics, BMC Bioinformatics, join LinkedIn groups, Discord servers, Reddit communities on Bioinformatics, attend webinars which Biotechnica conducts, virtual conferences, hackathons and everything. Engage with companies who are in Bioinformatics, whatever they are posting, 
apply online as soon as they you see any opportunity and comment thoughtfully not just random post like okay great post no you have to comment thoughtfully that will attract the recruiters okay target the right job titles that's what i said skills will not just pay the bills it's the visibility will get you the right opportunity don't call yourself as a bioinformatician instead call bioinformatics analyst bioinformatics scientist computational biologist genomics data scientist ngs data analyst AI ML specialist these are the modern trends which you should you know target and you should apply for jobs now preparing for interviews of course you can take mock interview uh, program from biotechnica explain your project's workflow uh, when you are giving the interview demonstrate your problem solving approach handle the technical questions very very carefully because that is where they try to confuse you and practice a lot of mock sessions with us and that will help you Now moving forward you have lot of global opportunities available in India USA Canada Germany UK Singapore Australia and the companies which you should, which you should look for is Illumina Roche Kaizen Thermo Fisher Genentech Novartis Biocon Dr Reddys and of course Biotechnica that is the place where you can be and look for research labs look for pharma companies look for CROs look for startups who are working on these and then bonus upskill on AI ML because Every bioinformatician knows only bioinformatics. If you know AI ML, you can go one step ahead. You can you should know the basics of machine learning, which is SkyKit, Learn, TensorFlow, PyTorch. Focus on applications such as protein structure prediction, genomic pattern recognition, drug target prediction, and then within two to three years, you will be hired at a job position which will pay not just your bills but will help you achieve a high paying. career and that is where your salaries will go through the roof it will go up to 50 lakhs per annum for a normal bioinformatician with 3 to 5 years of experience i am seeing so my point again is skills definitely pays the bill but it's the visibility which gets you the opportunity so focus on skill focus on networking focus on personal branding keep learning keep sharing stay visible that's very important and if you would like to know more about all of this comment below and i will definitely make a more detailed video on this so for now i think i have given you enough information if you have any further questions put them down in the comment section and i will see you soon in the next one till then keep shining and become a bioinformatician soon with the help of biotechnica take care bye bye